Hey, it's Coach Jess with Fit Slay, and welcome to your flexibility and mobility series. Today, we're going to be warming up our lower body and our hips, starting with our quad stretch. So this exercise or stretch takes balance. If you need something to hold on to, feel free to have a chair. You're going to bring your left arm or your left arm to your left ankle. Focus on pulling your heel towards your butt. This is going to stretch out your quad, your quadricep muscle, which is on the front part of our leg. And we're going to hold this for 15 seconds. Aim to keep that thigh as parallel to your right leg as possible, so you don't want to be here. Keep it in line with your knee for five, four, three, two, and one. All right, let's switch to our other leg. We're gonna go into our right leg now. Bringing that leg back, keeping that knee towards your left. You should feel a really good stretch in your hip flexors. If you notice you're super tight right through this area here, you should feel that stretch on that right leg. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Relax that leg and let's go into our hamstring stretch. For this one, we will be sitting on the floor. Let's have our left leg extended in front of us and our right leg slightly bent. This is also called like a hurl stretch. So if you're a track athlete, you are familiar with this. We wanna bring our, right, our left leg in front, point your toe towards your face. From here, we're gonna lean forward, feeling a good stretch in our hamstrings, the muscles behind our leg, and reaching your nose towards your knee. You're gonna hold the stretch. Now, this leg that's out to the side, your right leg, you really wanna open it up, so really have like a 90 degree angle coming from your front leg to that thigh. Eight seconds. four, three, two, and one. Switching sides, right leg in front, left leg back. This is the open angle I was talking about. I wanna make sure you have a good 90 degree, reaching forward and holding. Great way to gain more mobility and flexibility in your hamstrings if you do struggle with a lot of tightness in this area. Eight seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Good job. Bringing those feet together. So let's go into our next stretch we have is our lizard pose. For this one, we're gonna be in a high plank position. Reposition your mat if you need to. So we're gonna to come to a high plank position. Make sure your toes are um, directly underneath you. So you don't wanna be on your knee for this one. Make sure you're all the way underneath on your toes and hold this position for me. We're gonna focus on bringing our right knee to our right elbow so we're going to bring that elbow down we're going to sit back nice and tall okay now as we do this we're going to focus on bringing this back leg up so right now we, we're sitting on our right leg got it we have our hands for balance we're going to grab our left ankle with our left hand pulling that leg towards our glutes and holding 10 seconds in this stretch, and then we're gonna lower this leg back to the floor and lunge forward. Good job, lower that leg down, lunge forward for me. Keep that holding for eight seconds. Three, two, and one. Walking those hands back in. We're gonna repeat this stretch on our opposite side. So back to high plank position, bringing that left knee to left hand, all right? First part of our stretch, nice and tall, all right? So we're gonna go ahead and grab our right ankle with our right hand. A good stretch in your quad. Remember, these are the muscles on the front side of your thigh. So you should really feel this on that back leg right now. Keep that chest nice and tall for five, four, three, two, and one. Lower that leg back down, nice and gentle. We're gonna go back forward to your mat. Stretching out on your mat. Getting that nose as close to the floor as you possibly can. We have eight more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Reaching those hands back up to center. Good job. So from here, we're gonna go into our next movement, which is our wide leg uh, seated forward fold. So this is similar to a straddle stretch. 
So we're gonna have our legs out nice and wide. We're gonna go towards the front. So instead of going at the side on this one, we're going forward. Now, if you need some weights to block your feet from sliding, grab some dumbbells, slide them right in front of your ankles. You're gonna reach towards the edge of your mat. Take a deep breath in, deep breath out, head down and reach. If you wanna grab your ankles, you can. This is gonna open up your hips and also your inner thigh muscles. Those are your abductors, ADDductors, abductors. Three, two, and one. Good job. All right, so that concludes our mobility and flexibility series. I'll see you on the next flexibility.